Hey guys, Harry here. Welcome to my unlock guide for the CS5 sniper rifle. This weapon is part of the Dragon's Teeth DLC and is mainly designed for aggressive recon players that play in short to medium range combat. If you want unlock guides for the other Dragon's Teeth weapons, make sure to check out my channel or the description. So in order to unlock the CS5, you need to complete the I in team assignment. It requires for you to obtain two sniper rifle ribbons, 10 radio beacon spawns and 20 spot assists. So for the two sniper rifle ribbons, it means if you get six kills with a sniper rifle, you'll receive one sniper ribbon. So choose your favorite rifle and jump in any game type or map and go have some sniping fun. Remember, you'll need at least 12 kills in total. Next up is the 10 radio beacon spawns, just make sure you use the spawn beacon gadget for a round of conquest or whatever you want and hope your teammates actually use it. The 20 spot assist is really simple, you can either just spot enemies while on foot or if you want a quicker way just use the mav and you'll get the 20 spot assist very quickly. And remember guys you don't need to complete the assignment in one match, for example you can get the 10 radio beacon spawns in multiple games. So let's talk about how the CS5 will perform and where you should be using this type of rifle. I'll be sure to make a proper weapon review soon, which I'll include all of its stats. But if you don't want to wait, I do have an early gameplay video of the CS5 from CTE that includes most of its stats. But so you guys can get a good idea of its performance, there is one stat that's going to define what it's capable of. It's the muzzle velocity. It's really low at 400 meters per second and 300 while suppressed. When Compared to other sniper rifles, you can really see just how low it actually is. Now, with a muzzle velocity like that, long range gunfights are completely out of the question. Don't take this rifle in big open field maps, it's just going to be a complete nightmare. This rifle is designed for close to medium range engagements, and much like what its purpose is in real life, that's exactly how you need to treat this CS5 in BF4. So any close quarters maps like Operation Locker or Metro is a perfect environment for it. And to give you guys some info on its real life version, from what I've read the CS5 is a concealable, subsonic, supersonic, suppress sniper rifle system well that was a bit of a tongue twister and was built around the Macmillan T2K bolt action it can be easily concealed in a portable case or backpack due to how it can be disassembled even though its muzzle velocity kind of sucks, luckily though it does have the high damage model of 100 maximum then dropping off down to 59 damage at 100 meters so that means you can still get those one shot headshots Anyway guys, that's the end of this video. Let me know, do you see yourself using the CS5? Make sure to leave your answer in the comments section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.